All right, Brian. Tell me what we're gonna catch today. Uh, so uh, you know, it's a nice sunny day in California here. Today uh, we're gonna go for some halibut out here. Uh, you know, this place uh, apparently we uh, people go out here and they uh, you know they get limits. They, they hit the limits every single time. So you know, today we're planning to go for a 40 inch halibut minimum. Uh, for a 50 inch, I think. Yeah, so don't tell Brian, but if I catch one and he doesn't, I'm gonna make fun of him big time. <laughs> so uh, check it out, all right? I'm gonna let Brian explain to you his fishing setup. It's actually pretty interesting, and I think you guys are gonna like it. All right, let me show you guys real quick. So what we got here is uh, we got an Akuma reel here with the fucking rod. Uh, some weights on here, but basically it's spring loaded here. So uh, you know we're just gonna pop it in place real quick. And here's a little snap right there. Oh my god, this is so fucking scary. <laughs> and then uh pull the line down here. Pop it into this little mechanism here. A little hook here. Okay, and when the fish takes the line. Oh <laughs> there you go. Then it'll do this. Awesome. All right. Uh, Brian, how are you holding your rod down? What are you using? Oh, uh, you know, this is a makeshift uh, little bucket here by my uncle. Yeah. Made it crafted probably in the uh, early 2000s. Oh man, longevity. Oh, Definitely, a little bit of duct tape, a little bit yeah, of PVC very pipe here. piece of equipment right here. I like it, I like it. Whole stuff in place, you know? <laughs> Brian, good luck, man. All right, thank you, man. <laughs> see you on the other side. Next time we see you, we'll get you, uh, get you some healthy meat going on here. <laughs> No, th that's what those guys up there, they're like asking like, oh, did someone like fucking lose their board? I was like, nah, man, I was looking around. I, didn't, I don't see anyone like howling around for a board, you know? So I'm wondering if they had it like on the beach and the waves just took it. Oh, yeah. Wow, oh, this guy's surfing right here inside. Still both the rocks though. Yeah, and plus it's like no waves here either. Yo, those waves or do I got some action on mine? What is that, bro? I, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on, I'm on. No, I am not. Oh, I'm on. Oh, drag. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm slipping. Oh, God. <laughs> the rocks. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, dude. It's a good one. It's really good. It's really freaking good. Dude, my drag. I can't even stop it. Okay. Oh, just gotta let it run. Got let it run, got let it run. Oh my god. Dude, this is the. My GoPro's on, don't yell, don't yell, don't yell. Get the net, get the net. Oh, this is a good one, Brian. It's a good one. Oh, it's running. It's a running. Oh! It's a battery, I'm pretty sure. It feels really heavy. It's fighting a lot. I feel like half of it doesn't really fight. Yeah, and it keeps running towards me too. Oh, it's going towards the beach. Oh god. Should I go down there? Don't lose it, bro. I got you, I got you, I got you. Don't worry, don't lose it. Alright, alright. It's like going way towards the beach right now. Oh god. Oh god, it's somewhere. Oh shit. Oh, it's it's some kind of stingray. I think it's a big stingray. I think it's a big stingray. Oh, I see it. It's definitely. It's a bat ray. Oh! Oh, God! Yeah, oh! Yeah, I know, I know. You wanna bring, I'll bring it closer. You sure, Brian? You got it? Yeah. I want you to get hurt, man. Right in front of you. Watch out for the waves, though. Watch out for the waves. Ooh! It's right here, right in front, right in front. The net's too small. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh shit. That's not a bat ray. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh man, Dang bro. Dang it Dang it. <laughs> oh god. Oh man, I was all on GoPro too. Wow, what a monster. Nice little uh so what, what they're not called um bat rays. I don't know here, I got pirates. I'm like There's a lion, watch out, watch out, watch out! 
Oh, dude, nice dodge. Wow. You okay, bro? You okay? Sorry about that. <laughs> so, Brian, hopefully, helped us dispatch it. Look at all that meat. And this man. is one wing. I mean, it's heavy. This is a good two oh, pounds right here. Go, man. Oh, man. So, we got two of these. It's about two pounds. Good job, Brian. Oh, all right. I'm going to clean it off real quick. Yeah, just rinse it off, you know. We brought our one catch home. Brian's prepping it and we're gonna fillet it and test to see if it actually tastes like scallops. Stingray master man. Wow. Dude, they got a race layer too. What are you gonna do with your own? I honestly don't know. Yeah. All right, guys. We uh, finished doing one wing, one clean fillet. There you go. Um, hopefully, this will cook in butter and try to make it taste like scallops or just something edible. And this one, we'll see if we can do some tacos with it. So we just got back from uh, Brian's house. Uh, we're actually gonna cook the food now. So I brought Christian with us. Um, you might recognize him from such videos as Cook Sesh One Through Twelve. Oh God. Um, but the reason I bring him here today is because. Um, He's Romanian, and I don't know if you guys know this, Romania has a bunch of scallops, they eat it all the time. So he's gonna finally help us break that rumor of stingray tasting like scallops, okay, Christian? It could be true, this? it could be true. This is gonna be wild, guys. <laughs> uh, stick around right after these commercial breaks. Moment of truth. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, just like a scallop. Just like a scallop. I couldn't even tell the difference. I couldn't even tell. This these one. are from the Red Sea, that's why they're that color. Mm. Mm. Here we go. Mm. We're just like a real scallop. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little bit more like um, sashimi style. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't see the tongs that aren't in there. And then, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a batch of Oh, these look wow. really good. I really like this type of parsley because I can keep it in the fridge forever. Yeah, I'm gonna, you can just pickle it, yeah. Oh, how? Oh, how? Yeah. Ooh. A little color ooh, for the ooh, folks back ooh, at home. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh man, oh wow. man. It's not bad. I like the drizzle. You know, very Chef, abstract. What I've prepared for you today is um, Stingray Falafolefa. It has grill marks um, created by myself. <laughs> Alright, let me know, Christian. Does it taste like a scallop? Alright, let's try one of these smaller pieces. Mmm. That one's pretty good. Yeah. It's hard to explain. It's like, um,. It's a little chewy, but it's kind of scallopy. That is definitely not the same as scallop, but you're right though, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. No, I'll, I'll give it to you, it's pretty good. Give it to Sandy, she can probably compare it with Yeah, Sandy, there's our real resident expert right here. Not a scallop, okay. <laughs> not a scallop. <laughs> but really good. Okay. That is really good. What like would you compare it to? Well, I don't have any reference. Chicken. All right, so those are good and everything, but what are you making for us now, Jason? Well, I said earlier, if you were paying attention, we were doing the fish tacos. Oh. Um, Dang. Now, show the audience what your, uh, your fish tacos So this is my like. famous recipe, um, store-bought fish batter mix. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show it to you guys if you guys uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> Check in that in the description for the recipe. <laughs> I'm <below>. sure. <laughs> Info in the description. <laughs> From start to end, cheers. No, I agree with Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a big bite of meat in it. Too stringy. I like the scallop one better. Yeah, I feel like if we put those in the tacos, mm -hmm. that might be pretty good. That's what I'm saying, a wet marinade I think would have been really good. Oh, yeah. wet marinade? Or oh, like a grill, like instead of like deep frying it, grill it or something. Mm. There's probably a reason why there's no like calamari tacos, you know? They're just too chewy and chew. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, that concludes it. Worst taco ever. <laughs>